Good evening all. So today we are going to discuss about disinfection. So we can discuss the importance of disinfection. The disinfection it is the method to destroy most microbial forms especially vegetative pathogens rather than bacterial spores. I think you are all familiar with this topic by using physical and chemical procedures such as UV radiation, boiling, vapor. Each surgical process and medical applications need sterile procedures to avoid infection of tissue by surgical and medical equipment that are contaminated. During these processes, surgical and medical equipments can be contaminated by pathogens through contaminated surgical gloves. And this may lead to entrance of bacteria adhered on the surgical and medical equipments or devices to sterile tissue of the patients and it may result in infection. So disinfection is mainly used to reduce the infection rate. Not only the contaminated surgical and medical equipments are risk factors for infection but also the contaminated common areas which are used by communities such as toilets, public transport, vehicles and door handles and contaminated air causing pathog transmission of pathogens from person to person and the contaminated kitchen equipment causing cross contamination between the equipment and foods are risk factors for health threatening infections. Inadequate disinfections of these equipment and air are the risk factors for the transmission of pathogens to patients. The hepatitis V, hepatitis C, rotavirus, Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Escherichia coli 015787, Salmonella typhimurium, Shigella dysentriae, Vibrio cholerae, Helicobacter pylori. These are the most common examples of the pathogens transmitted. So failure to apply disinfection applications has been leading to various outbreaks. So these are the importance of sterilization. Now different we can uh, discuss different terms. So what do you mean by disinfectants? These are the chemical agents which are designed to inactivate or destroy microorganisms on inert surface. The disinfection does not necessarily kill all the microorganisms especially bacterial spores which are more or highly resistant. It is less effective than sterilization which is an extreme physical or chemical process that kills all type of life. Disinfectants, those are generally distinguished from antimicrobial agents. How they are distinguished? Such as antibiotics which destroy microorganisms within the body and antiseptics they destroy the microorganisms on the living tissue. Disinfectants are also different from biocides. They are intended to destroy all forms of life. Biocides, not just the microorganisms. Next is disinfectants work by destroying the cell wall of the microbes or interfering with their metabolism. So the cell wall of the microbes uh, and also the metabolic uh, activities are disrupted. It is also a form of decontamination and can be defined as the process whereby physical or chemical methods are used to reduce the amount of pathogenic microorganisms on a surface. So it is a, also a form of decontamination to remove the pathogenic organisms from the surface. Disinfectants can also be used to destroy the microorganisms on the skin and mucous membrane as in the medical dictionary. Historically, the word simply means that it destroys microbes. Sanitizers. So, another important term, sanitizers. These are the substances that simultaneously clean and disinfect. Nowadays, we are using regularly the sanitizers to prevent the COVID, infect uh, COVID infections, etc. Disinfectants kill more germs than sanitizers. 
So this disinfectants are frequently used in hospitals, dental surgeries, kitchens and bathrooms to kill infectious organisms. The sanitizers are very mild which are compared to disinfectants and these are used majorly to clean things which are in human contact whereas disinfectants are con concentrated and are used to clean surfaces like floors and building premises. The bacterial endospores are more resistant to disinfectants but some fungi, virus and bacteria also possess some resistance. In wastewater treatment, a disinfection step with chlorine. So chlorine is used in our household as a wastewater treatment and also to clean the water in our well. We are using, we are chlorinating usually our well to prevent the disinfection. And the chlorine is very active against viruses. So the disinfection step with chlorine, ultraviolet radiations or ozonation can be included as tertiary treatment to remove the pathogen from the wastewater. For example, if it, it is to be discharged to a river or the sea, where their body contact immersion recreation is practiced or reused to irrigate gold courses. An alternative term used in the sanitation sector for the disinfection of the waste streams, sewage sludge or fecal sludge is sanitization or sanitization. Now the disinfection techniques which are classified according to the consistency. It can be either liquid that means alcohols or phenols then gaseous it can be either formaldehyde, vapor, ethylene oxide. And now we can also classify this disinfectants based on the spectrum of activity that is high level, intermediate level and low level. So, before discussing this high level, intermediate level and low level, what do you mean by sterilant? It is also a chemical agent which is used to sterilize critical medical devices or the medical instruments. And the sterilant kill all the microorganisms with the result that sterility assurance level of a microbial survivor is less than 10 raised to 6. Sterilant gases are not within this scope. Next, we are going to discuss different types of disinfectants according to their spectrum of activity. That means low level disinfectant, which means the disinfectant that rapidly kills most vegetative bacteria as well as medium sized lipid containing viruses when used according to the labeling. It cannot be relied upon to destroy within a practical period. Bacterial endospores, mycobacteria, fungi or all the small non-lipid viruses. Next is about intermediate disin level disinfectant. The intermediate level disinfectant means a disinfectant that kills all the microbial pathogens except bacterial endospores when used as recommended by the manufacturer. It is bactericidal which means it kills the bacteria tubercularidal which is ill killing tuber mycobacterium tuberculosis species fungicidal and they are mostly killing fungi, especially asexual spores, but not necessarily dried chlamydospores or sexual spores, only asexual spores. They are fungicidal and virucidal, which kill the viruses. So, these are coming under intermediate level of disinfectant. Next is about high level disinfectant. High level disinfectant means a disinfectant that kills all the microbial pathogens except large number of bacterial endospores when used as recommended by its manufacturer. Next is about the mechanism of action. That is main action is action upon the membrane. Examples are alcohol detergent. Then denaturation of cellular protein. These are the different mechanism of action. And the examples for those which take part in denaturation process are alcohol and phenol. Next mechanism of action is oxidation of essential sulfhydryl groups of enzymes. Example hydrogen peroxide halogens. Then next is alkylation of amino, carboxyl, hydroxyl groups. Example for this are ethylene oxide and formaldehyde. These are most powerful disinfectants. Damage to nucleic acid. That means 
they can damage either DNA or RNA. Example, ethylene oxide and formaldehyde. So that the next is about methods of disinfection. So we have this uh, already discussed disinfection, sanitization, disinfectant. And now we can discuss what are the different types of chemical disinfectants. First of all, alcohol, then chlorine and chlorine compounds, then formaldehyde, glutaraldehyde, hydrogen peroxide, iodophores, orthophthalaldehyde, peracetic acid, peracetic acid and hydrogen peroxide, phenolics and quaternary ammonium compounds. Then miscellaneous inactivating agents are other germicides, metals as microbicides, then ultraviolet radiation, pasteurization, flushing and washer disinfectors. So these are all about important agents coming under the chemical disinfection. The rest of the part we can discuss in next day. Thank you all.